Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. I'd like us to go back to the book of Genesis, chapter 16 today, and deal with a thought that's very practical from a pastoral perspective. One of the great challenges I have with people is when they make decisions out of discouragement and maybe even a little embitterment regarding their relationship with God. God didn't do something that they thought He should do, or God didn't do it the way they thought He should do it, and they get a little upset with God. Now, I've always made it a point in my life to just keep an attitude with God of, I'm not mad at you. Many, many, many years ago, I read a book called I'm Not Mad at God by David Wilkerson. And it touched my life, just that one phrase, because I can remember as a young boy, not saved, but very angry because God did not heal my grandmother uh, of Parkinson's. And then I went to visit her in the hospital and she had uterine cancer and they couldn't operate because of her Parkinson. And as a 16-year-old boy, I said, Grandma, is this, is this how your God treats you? And I was really upset. And though my grandmother scolded me and corrected me very sweetly, but I still remember how angry. And for several years, I was very angry with God. And I remember as a baby Christian reading that book and just making up my mind, whatever happened in life, I would never be angry at God. That whatever happened in life, if I understood it or if I didn't understand it, I was not going to be mad at God. That God was on my side, that He loved me, that He gave His only begotten Son from me. How would He possibly withhold any other good thing from me? Now, when we look at the story of Hagar and Ishmael, we find a story of a decision that was made from an embittered heart. In verse 2, Sarah says to her husband, Abraham, the Lord has kept me from having children, so go sleep with my maidservant. Perhaps I can build a family through her. But God had always intended to bless the fruit of her womb. God had always intended that she would be the mother of Israel. But because it didn't happen quite as fast as she thought it should happen, she wanted to force things to happen. She wanted to do things her own way, and she blamed God for the problem. Now, please forgive me if you look at all the problem in the Middle East today, if you look at all the hatred that comes against the people of Israel from all the surrounding Arab nations. Forgive me, it all comes from this one mistake. How many thousands of generations have suffered because of this one mistake from an embittered, angry heart toward God? All of the hatred that comes against the people of Israel today, those are all Ishmael's descendants. God said he would be a wild jackass of a man, not able to live at peace with any of his neighbors. From the very beginning, God said this is what he is going to be like and all of his descendants after him. All of this trouble came because of Sarah's embittered heart. May I beg of you today, God is good and His mercy endures forever. God gave you His only begotten Son. The Bible is clear. Why do you think He would withhold any good thing from you? The Bible is clear. Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. If there is a problem, the problem is not with God. Maybe you need to back up and recognize that though you may not see His hand at work, God's hand is working for you. God loves you and He's working for you. Make up your mind today. I may not understand everything, but I know this. God loves me and I will keep myself in the waiting room of His love while I wait for my miracle.